Good afternoon. This is the homework for Monday, October 13th. Let's start at the beginning. We are continuing to work on variables, unknowns in a uh, expression or equation. So part one or question one says, what part of this equation is a variable? And what we have learned so far is that a variable is written as a letter. And usually it's a lowercase letter. All right, so C is our variable. We have 22 of something. We take away, give away, or lose some of them. And now we have 15. So one of the biggest things is you have to be able to make an equation out of this. So, or not an equation, but a word problem. And you have to be able to understand the word problem so you know what it's asking. So that's kind of the focus of these lessons right now is to solve for a variable and to be able to use it in a word problem. All right, let's look at number two. Which part of this equation is unknown. Again, it is a variable. All right, this equation has the equal sign in a different location. So please make sure you're aware of that. All right, you could rewrite this equation as 15 divided by W equals 5. All right, same equation, just watch where that equal sign is because it comes up frequently where they'll switch it around and try to trick you, okay? Part two, you should be familiar with this. It says highlight the variables in each expression. Okay, I'm not going to go through that, but I would practice what does this type of an equation mean? 9D. What operation, addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division does this mean? This means multiplication, 9 times D. It could be written as 9D or 9 times D. We also learned that it could be written with a dot. And you also learn that it can be written with one of the little stars, at, like on your computer. Okay. I think it is can, uh, shift eight is the is this type of a little star. Okay. So this is a multiplication problem. It's not asking you to identify that. I'm just helping you remember to identify what it is. What operation are they asking you to do? All right. The next one I think that's kind of questionable is this one right here. Think about what 21 over G is. Is that addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? Twenty one G is a division problem that's saying twenty one divided by G. Okay? And your variable is the G. Okay, this one is a little bit confusing, I think. If you notice this X is slightly different than the following one. This one is italicized or slightly slanted. So that is your variable. Okay, the rest of those I think you can figure out. The homework is very similar to what you did the last couple of days. So you are in, I'll do this side and walk you through it and you're gonna do the other side without my help. It says, Jada buys two apples each time she goes to the store. 
So here are her two apples. Last week, Jada bought 10 apples. And what does H stand for? Okay, remember how we went through and we kind of highlighted... I'm going to underline this. And then you had the number of apples. Okay, we have the two. That's given. We have the 10. That's given. And it's asking us, what is the H? The H is... the number of trips to the store. How many times did she go to the store? All right, let me ask you one more question. What does this mean? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. You can look back up, up above. I gave you a hint. So this is 2 times what equals 10. Okay, next question. Use y to write an expression to represent 12 more than a number. 12 more than a number. So our variable is the number, and that is going to be represented by y. So that first letter is y, and we want to do 12 more than. What operation is more than in this case? Could it be addition? or multiplication more than. In this case, it's going to be addition. Because if it was multiplication, it would say times. Three times or five times something. All right, so in this case, we have addition. And now we have 12. 12 more than a number. All right, the last expression for today is going to be this one here with the R. Use R to represent an expression to write an expression to represent a number decreased by 2. Okay, so we are decreasing by Two. Our variable is r, and we're changing by 2. So think about it for a minute. If we are decreasing by 2, we're going to start with our variable, r. And to decrease, we could either subtract or divide. In this case, it's not telling me we have equal parts. So for me, that means it is going to subtract. And then we have to have our number 2. All right. Now this is not an equation. It's an expression. They're only asking us for the expression. Okay. So here's our R. Here's our number 2. And here is our word for decrease. All right, you're on your own for the rest of that homework. Good luck, everyone. Have a great night.